Hello everyone and welcome to the NCS Truck Series here at Gateway. You may notice the race has been shortened 60 laps. That is due to incoming rain and they think around the 60 lap mark the rain will start coming in. So it might actually end the race at like lap 50 something. You don't know, but they've decided. We're going to go with qualifying order James Freeman, Bennett, Hill, the days one winner, Lawrence Powell, Chuang, Cox, Cummings, Danica Deegan, Dirk Stitt, Allen, Noels, Richard Perry, Young, Free, Denny Ham, Balderez, Cummings, Stevie Poe, Ortiz, Bell, Bush Bush, Mears, Ibrahim, Turner, Neil, Cooper, Cindric Austin, Pemberton, Keenan Mackey, Brady Coop, and Daniels. Early predictions, I think it's going to be Keenan Mackey. She came so close to the uh, Daytona race, I think she'll have enough speed here. I think it's going to be Brady Coop. The Cup Series driver who wrecked out the past two races. Yeah. Last time the pole sitter won and on the other side, and that is Daniel, so green, 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 green. Already going three wide per second. Brady Coop's gonna get the outside lane. But he's not gonna clear him. He almost cleared him. There goes Daniels down the inside. Well, that three wide fanned out down the back straight away. <laughs> Two cars pulling away. Side by side for the lead. Brady Coop and Daniels. Keep in mind, Brady Coop is only going to be in this ride for two races. So, if he can impress to those two races and possibly win himself a race, get a top five, he could possibly have the truck ride in the next season for the uh, season or next season. Or maybe some other truck ride. Yeah. Because there's a few drivers that they're planning to move up to the Cup Series. Like James Freeman, I forgot to mention what happened to him. During practice, he uh, kind of wrecked. And he had to bring out a backup car, but it was like a really bad car. It's a whole like, different well, car, basically. They had, to bring out well, a, they had to bring out a Speedway car for a short track. Well... He didn't really DNF once. He DNF'd in practice and in qualifying. Yeah. And then he got so he, a legal, like, thing. A legal car modification. So he just, she's, he's just had a horrible weekend. But he's pretty good in the Cup Series for his part-time ride, so. Brady Coop cleared him for the lead. We have three cars in contention. My pick, my pick's in third here. first. What is What's Daniel's he? name? I feel like it's Josh Daniel, but I don't think it is. I, I, isn't that a real name? Well, you can click an, entr an entries mode. Yeah. yeah, we're still trying to learn these names. Yeah, we don't- we- we let someone else Julian Daniels. I think Josh Daniels is an actual person. Where's Oreo at, Mo? I am Oreo, I'm 43. Where did Oreo go? I know he was kind of fun. He's in fourth. Okay. Battling with, uh, Neil. But that's not Oreo. Yeah, in the 43. Oh, that's- oh, why did I say this? It's Austin Sindrick, but backwards. There he is. He's, he's in ninth. I currently have a cat assaulting me. Oh, me too. I'm sure you do. Yay! We're both getting assaulted by cats. This is a really good like little pack up here. Yeah, I think just like the uh, the D2 race, it's gonna come down to lap traffic. Yeah. Or maybe a caution from caused by lap traffic. Yeah, Freeman's just not having a good day today. Please press space. 
He should show up later, though. Maybe. Later in the season. This is just gonna hurt him with all those, uh, backup parts. This is, like, literally their final backup part for the weekend. Well, it's actually not even a backup car. It's literally just that car that they have to drive in. Yeah. Because they actually run short track cars here. Despite it technically being a speedway. Yeah. Brady Coop eating a full lap so far in this race. They just say all oh, because I'm pretty sure they're 26. I said one. Who has the fastest lap? It's actually the 26. Brady Coop have the fifth fastest lap. Kind of weird since he's leading this thing. Oh, fourth. Beating out the 42. Just like that. Oh, the 40. No, never mind. He's back in chase. The one car with the quickest time. The one truck. Oh, oh wow. Um, now the one car with the fastest lap, the one car in this. Abraham. I'm just gonna call him Abraham Lincoln Jr. at this point. Uh, what's the car behind him? I don't even know that number. You can't even read it on the side. It's a 45 Bush Bush. He's you can't even read the door. Yeah, I know, but you can't read the number correctly. <laughs> Who made this scheme and why? Uh, the owner person thing. Yeah, I know. They design every single scheme. It's not that team. I mean, the sponsor. The sponsor definitely had stuff to do with that. Oh, I'm assaulting cat right now. My God. Oh God, we're still three wide. Denny Ham. Why is Denny Ham so trash? I expected more from a NASCAR. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you guys um, will be able to pause and see what's happening here. Just cycling through the field of future. <laughs> it, isn't this guy's name Stiff? <laughs> I think so. This guy's name is Fun. Fun. I can't even see the number of his car. Who is making these schemes, Bo? They're so you dry. You can't see it. So why is it a red outline? Why isn't it a yellow outline? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they gotta remake some of these schemes, Bo. Why is this guy's like car invisible? We're numbered. So why is the car invisible? You can't even see the side. What did they do to the side? You literally can't see a section of the car. Look at it. It's like camouflage, but it's just not there. He's top three still up here, but they're catching the... What do you think the best race this season has been yet out of the four races? You mean of all divisions? Yeah. For five the days. Daytona 500. First Actually, no, the Infinity... The, the uh, D3 race. Daytona race. Yeah, I agree. I actually switched D3 my has had the best races in all divisions so far. It's looking like actual NASCAR. Ooh. Wait, actual NASCAR? This isn't NASCAR. This is MCS. Get it right, idiot. Oh my god, he just got stabbed. It must have been by his cat. Why does this guy have a- why does my cat have a gun? Diabetes. Brady Coop is putting on a really good performance, possibly impressing some of the truck teams. Oh god. 
This is, I think, the Lion Team, Clyde Wheeler Jr. Clyde Wheeler must be happier right now. He's getting a little break here. He has a good part-time driver in this car today. Why the heck? Why does he suck in the Cup Series, but he's actually good in the Cup Series? Bro's literally Matt Crafty. Just stay in the truck series, I guess. So I guess you're good. Ooh. Neil has caught up to this top three. The field's actually not that spread out right now. I mean, other than... We're gonna cycle through the field a few times again. I'm sure you guys will be able to slow the video down and pause and stuff. Oh yeah, you're totally gonna do set. Back here, still like three wide. No, there's the whole field basically single file. This is looking just like Daytona. Yeah, we literally have Nassar. one pass. We literally have one pass going on. This is looking like actual Daytona. It has been visible 85 car. <laughs> this is looking like Daytona in NASCAR. Oh, Oreo. And we're gonna go on board with Julian and that's No. Oh, no, yeah. don't leave me. Don't leave me. Back roll and they reach slap traffic. This is definitely gonna spread out the field a little bit. Oh, there goes the 26! Diving to the inside of nine. Will he make a pass for the lead side by side? Nine's gonna clear him on the outside, I see. That could cost him position trying to make that run. Position, but here comes the 12 diving to the inside, trying to make a pass for third. The next lot cars are in turn two, so. Fastest lap is 26 by only 2 milliseconds. Turned. I see other guy isn't back.
that 9 truck, the Brady Coop, pulling off that 26, and has lost that gap he's had for the past, I don't know, 15 laps. Hi. Um, let me confirm this. The cup series goes to Michigan, so. Um, race four. Michigan for uh, D2, so the trucks. And then for D, it's the same thing, just actually, no. D3 doesn't go to Michigan, ma'am. Let's remember, a win walks you into the playoffs here. And if there's 19 wins with, uh, with Brady Coop, then that walks in quite, uh, Wheeler Jr. <laughs> He's not at that age yet. One D three. I forget who won um D two. The eleven, Hogan Seed Prior. I'm sorry, how does Brady Coop have the 15th fastest lap, but he's in the lead? Mickey Mouse? That's right. He's being Alex Bowman. <laughs> you said that? And we are officially this after this lap and be halfway through the race. Alright, shuffle through the field a little bit. We're gonna shuffle through the field. And whoever we land on will win the next race. Because that's just totally how it works. Three, two, one. Bush Bush, okay. If he actually wins the next race, this is going to be complicated, but I don't think he will.
Why is the airplane all on my phone? So I was trying to check email. Brady Coop still in the lead. He's led basically this whole race. I'm actually going to track right now, because I'm pretty sure Penny can. She finished runner-up two times in a row, a row in the Daytona 500. Let's see if, there, if it was three times, because I don't know if she did in the most of this. I'm just repenting. Oh my. He actually. She literally. Oh my god. Ain't no way. Wait. Did she actually finish second? Oh my. Wait, no. She finished third in this one. Okay, no. So Penny Kim has finished third or second in the past three days, one of 500s. That's just... Isn't that just sad? Penny Kim has finished second Three out of our four Daytona 500s in MCS. Freddy Coop still? I think we're gonna see Pit Stop soon though. Pit Stop is gonna decide this race. Yeah, I think so. Imagine finishing second to the three day to the five on the Okay, well. Oh, can you turn that down, please? I just reworked the uh, schedule for D3. Isn't D3 a lot of road courses? Or am I thinking of LSR D3? This 26 way! The 26 last race was that was really good for first. It stayed in second for the majority of the race, the 26. And then a caution came. Oh, he's gonna get to the inside. And then a caution came out. And then that really I just realized they can technically make it on fuel now when they hit. Oh, there goes Mackie trying to get to the bottom of him. It's not gonna work. What are your really, really early predictions before we even see qualifying for Michigan to, uh, next weekend? 42. Of, uh, Miami wide. I think Corey Soto's gonna win there again. He got really close in the season, uh, or in the playoff race last season. And he won in the regular season race, so I think he's gonna win there again. Reaching lap traffic, this could be the 26th chance to make a move. 
you can tell they've all been not that aggressive. They're just waiting for the lap traffic. Because they're starting to get close to like, where the actual lap traffic starts. Nine's going to get around them. 26 is going to get around them. 42 is going to get around him. Oh, here comes the 13. 12 is going to get stuck behind him. 13 is going to make a pass or pit. Wait, no, fourth. Wait. Never mind. I thought maybe coming into turn one, the 21 might be able to slide down in front, but no. The 12 is going to get pushed back to fifth. Really, this pack isn't that spread out, if I'm being honest. Really, any of these drivers up here can make a mistake and they can lose some positions. Oh, there goes the 26! He might be able to get there! He dives in there, but it's not gonna work. 26 slowly starting to get more aggressive. He definitely fell. There goes the 42 trying to make a pass for a second. Yeah, the high side seems like it's really dominant, but he might be able to get there. Side by side, exiting two. Is he gonna get there? He might be able to get there entering uh, three, and then he might have to throw a block. He's still gonna be there. Trying to make the pass. 26 is gonna get the run on the outside. 42 is gonna respond with another run. Is he gonna be able to get in? Not quite yet. I think the 26 is gonna clear him on the straightaway. Like it. He will clear him, but the 42 is going to get back to the inside. They're side by side for second and third. And 12 is going to make a pass back for fit, fourth. They're side by side, so back, this pack back here is starting to catch. This is looking really different from the D2 race. Oh, yeah, 100%. D2 race is really uh, spread out. This race seems they're basically just in a pack, not like not like a pack pack racing, but they're. If these two don't stop battling, this knife's gonna start pulling away. And the 42 is gonna clear the 26. Making a path for second. Comes the 12, but the 26 is going to be able to throw the block. Amazing pass there from the 42. He's been trying to make that first. She's been trying to make that pass all race. Now can't she catch Brady Coop? I think they will reach the 21 one more time as a lap car. It might be around the end of the race, so we'll get back to the big 42 since after all that battle, I created a really big lead. We haven't seen any cautions this race, even though the race has been so much tighter this race than it was in the D2 race. they are. I don't think these, I think the only part of them to be a lap down, to be honest, is going to be this 21, because he's already two laps down, he's probably going to go three laps down. As they are exiting. He is injuring. So, he's still have a lot of way to pass the At least lap one more time, and it's probably going to be, I wouldn't be surprised if they lap one more time at the Trump final lap. That would really be the 42's only chance. Ooh, but they... They seem like they are, uh, catching. Yeah, they're catching him. Nine is right here. 42's right here. And he had a bigger gap. He had a gap of eight tenths. Now the gap is just... We're all down to five tenths. He's gonna be brought down even more here. Yep. Back down to four tenths now.
the whole top four is within a second of each other. Or in a second of the leader. Keenan Mackey seems really fast right now. They still haven't pit. I don't know if they're... I mean... We'll see. They might have to pit. This might be a fuel mileage. Yep, now down to three tenths. They're catching him at about a tenth every lap. So the 42 should be right to his bumper at about lap 52 or 51. should be about two tenths separated. If we keep that pace going, yeah, two, two tenths separated. On lap 52, he should be right into his bumper. It may be even closer. Coming to 10 laps to go. to go now it should be about one tenth separated but it looks like he's lost a little bit of time still two tenths separated two tenths really isn't that much also they will not be stopping the race this lap so nope rain is still coming but and since they already said 60 laps even if rain doesn't arrive they said if it reaches lap 55 and rain arrives, they're going to keep racing for those final six laps. Rain hits the entire field Rex. He's, he's not gaining that much tense anymore. He's gaining a few milliseconds, which I guess helps. Let's see what that 21 part is. He is about entering the room. Oh, they are exiting too. Yeah, he's gonna be laughing. I think he is. I think they're gonna catch him around the end of the race, and that would be basically the 42's the only shot he's gonna get a massive run. He's gonna be forced to check up though. He did not want to send it right into the max bumper. That's gonna lose him a lot of time. Did you see that run he got entering three? I thought he might have just moved him up the track, but he wants to be safe here, trying not to wreck his opponent or his car. Brady Coop having a dominant performance today. So they are entering four, and he's ex or exiting two while he is or no, exiting four while he's. He's slowly gaining that time back that he lost off of that scent. Do you think he should have moved him up the track? I think he should have, but... Yeah. I understand not trying to wreck your opponent, but... I don't think it would have been that big of a bump. He might have been able to keep it there. If we reach this lap and rain comes out, then there will not be... They will not stop the race. The caution came out off a of four. <laughs> <laughs> the caution comes out all four. Ooh, this is gonna be close. Do you think they'll reach the 21? He has, he's having about 30 second lap, 37 second lap. They're having about 35. So they're gonna be gaining two seconds on him every lap. And then they're gonna catch him with like two to go. That will really be the 42's only chance. Because it seems like the 42 with dirt, he's gonna get a run again. Oh! Gee. She, she's being a little too passive right now. I think she needs to start getting more aggressive if she wants this win. Hey, yeah, I mean, I driver in the lead is one of the most aggressive we see in all of MCS, whether, whether it's D1, D2, or D3. Even D4, something we haven't shown yet. Yeah. D4 is pretty depressing. It's literally a six-race season. 
Ooh, yeah, there he has it. There comes Keenan Mackie! Again to his to his bumper. God, I don't know why she's not moving up the track. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's planning to do it on the final lap because she knows he will do the same. Yeah, I mean, if she moved him, he would just get right back to the bump and move her. Oh, they, they could reach the 21 in, like, the final turn. This is going to be close. Coming to three laps to go. Yeah, they're, like, mid-turn while he's exiting. Oh! Pass for the second! I don't this think could be it! Get past right now. I think the 42 does not want to get battle and try to catch. Three laps to go. I don't think they'll catch him. I honestly don't think they'll catch him. Yeah, I don't I think, think so. I think it's going to be dependent on if the 42 can make a big send on the final turn. I think the 9's going to be still getting affected by him on the second and final lap. Like, second and final and final lap. But I don't but think I don't it's going to kill him. Two laps ago. As it did at Michigan. The potato tomato. <laughs> now, what, what if that happened? We have about basically three, two more turns to try to catch him before she can send on the final turn. Ooh, it's gonna be close. The 42 is close. And a white flag is in the air here at Gateway for Brady Cook. Oh, so look at that. Because they got side by side, I think that just sealed the deal unless this lap car is in the way. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna catch him. If there was one more lap, then they probably would have. Oh, One look at that, I think it's 12 more. One more to make a pass, but I think she is too far behind. Ready, go! It's gonna roll three and four. Out of turn four for the final time, the nine car takes Ready, go. a ride from Clyde Wheeler Jr. after his injury. He is gonna win it with us. He's gonna get himself a truck ride for next season somewhere. Yeah, if they had one more lap, they probably would have popped 21. And that is going to be the race. And after this weekend, that game in Riverside. We will see you guys next week for the first Michigan race of the week. And the Cup Series. Where is that name?